Hey everyone, welcome into the Flippin' Hippos YouTube channel. I'm Star. If you're new here or you haven't already, please consider subscribing and helping us feed a hungry hippo. Don't mind me fixing my shirt. <laughs> and uh, don't forget to hit the thumbs up as you're watching today. We are going to be unboxing the rest of the jeans. So this is part two of a thread up denim rescue unboxing. Without further ado or any fluff, I'm just going to jump on in and pull the jeans out and talk about them and see what I got. If you didn't watch the first part, I'll have that pop up at the end and you can go back and watch that if you would like. So let's just start pulling stuff out and looking at it. These are H&M, which is, you know, kind of a poop brand, but they are button fly. So I'll probably list them for about 22 bucks all in. So like 12 plus 10 shipping. Yeet. <laughs> Next we have Rewash, another poopy brand, but I'll still list them for about 10 plus 10 shipping. These have a nice elastic waist. They're ripped and destroyed. Then we have, oh, these are tiny little shorts, little booty shorts. I love booty shorts. You guys know that. These are Mossimo as well. So believe it or not, Mossimo, a Target brand, is a good brand to look for. You don't want to pay more than a couple of bucks for it. Um, but it has a solid, loyal following. There are folks who really like their Massimo clothes. And, you know, Target only keeps certain styles and certain prints and things like that. They do it seasonally. So someone, say they are a size 7 juniors and likes this particular jean short, they can buy it when it comes out, but they'll never see it at Target again. And so they'll come online looking for it. So I do like Massimo. I buy the blouses. I used to get the shoes. Um, I like this brand. And, you know, it's bread and butter, but it, it does sell. And it sells pretty steadily. Next we have Embellish. These are men's. I've never really heard of this brand, so I actually kind of want to look it up. Look at all these rips and tears and holes. The ripping and the tearing. The ripping and the tearing. Can we look these up at the end? We're going to look those up at the end just to see. I like to share my screen and comp. New to me brands. I also really like getting thread up because a lot of the brands that I now know are bolos. I have never found in the wild. I've never seen at a thrift store. And I've thrifted in several different states. But I know about that brand or I've sold it because it comes to me in the thread up. Startups have different distribution centers around the country, different people sending items in. So you never know what you're going to get. And sometimes you get stuff that you would never find where you live or very rarely, but you can learn about new things. These are Walmart brands, but I'm going to tell you something. They're size 20. When I go to 99 cent day around here to our thrift stores, I buy all the plus size. And it can be Walmart brand, and I don't care. I will buy this exact one. I would buy it on purpose. I would pull it off the rack. I certainly would. I would pay 99 cents for this because I can sell these for 15 plus 10 shipping all day long. Plus size sells. This is cute. It is a skirt that has a button front, a snap button front. How cute is this? Oh, this is adorable. It's Melville, which I haven't seen in a couple years. I'm going to assume it's still bread and butter, but maybe we'll look it up. I'm also going to move my soda before I knock it over and we have a disaster here. Next, we have Old Navy Diva. There's a lot of shorts in this box, which is cool because you know what? Spring is right around the corner. You want to get them listed. And remember, it's not cold everywhere. It stays warm in states like Florida and Arizona and California. It's summertime in Australia right now if you sell internationally. So don't limit yourself. List all the things all the time. Forever 21, poop brand. Poop. Would I buy a pair of cutoff booty shorts for 99 cents? I sure would. This is something I would thrift on purpose. I buy stuff like this and the plus size jeans and any brand. I don't care if the poopiest of the poops. If it's 99 cents and it's a cutoff pair of booty shorts, a jean jacket, or a plus size pair of jeans, it is coming home with me. 
because those items will sell for more than anything else in that brand. Those are like three items that you can guarantee you can get pretty good money for and they're going to move quickly. So next we have a pair of Madewell, Madewell, $35 jeans. These are the perfect vintage jean. I love when they give me keywords right there that I can just use in my title. People that like these jeans are also looking for that when they're searching. So make sure you put that stuff in your title. These are Bolo. Put them up there. And these, I think I've seen these before, but they're not familiar. So we're going to look these up as well. My gut says they're probably low end bread and butter, but we will look them up. They're men's. See, the thing with men's jeans, too, is you can always get a little bit more for them. For instance, American Eagle. I start women's at 10 plus 10 shipping. I start men's at 15 plus 10 shipping. And I say start because if they're button fly or the air flex or anything special, then I add another couple bucks. These are Hollister men's. Yay! Okay, I love Hollister. Y'all can call it a poop mall brand all you want. When I find women's Hollister booty shorts or jeans in the size zero double zeros, they don't stay in my store. They fly off the shelf. Do they sell for a lot of money? No. Do they sell really fast? Yes. <laughs> and if I can turn, you know, my $1, my 99 cents into a profit of like 11 bucks, 12 bucks in a couple of weeks, that's a no brainer. And the men's are even better. So these will start at like 15 plus the 10 shipping, so 25 all in. And if you didn't know, eBay has recently added the cubic rates to their shipping options in the back end when you go to print your labels. A lot of us were always using Pirate Ship because you could get your labels cheaper over there because they offered it and eBay didn't. Well, eBay is now offering it. So depending on what zone you're shipping to, sometimes these priority jeans, a pad of flats is now 860, I believe. Um, I'm probably wrong. Correct me if you know uh, offhand. We use the cardboard mailers. So if it's going to California, clearly even the, the priority cubic is going to be like 10, 11 bucks. So we use those flat rate cardboard mailers. They used to be 760. They have gone up to 799, but it makes up for it when it's on this side. So if I'm mailing a pair of jeans to New York now, I can get a label on eBay for $6.50. And then I just mail it a poly bag. So make sure you're keeping that in mind too. Um, I still do 10 shipping on most of my jeans because the price is the same. And I cannot preach that enough or teach that enough to you guys. If a pair of jeans is worth 20 bucks, it's worth 20 bucks. It doesn't matter how you slice the cake, how big you make the pieces. It's a $20 pair of jeans. It could be $20 free ship, 10 plus 10 ship. 12 plus 8 ship. It's the same thing. It's how you want to cut it into pieces. Or if you want to do free shipping or not. 7 for All Mankind boot cut. I like 7 for All Mankind. You really want to look for the dojo jeans. And they'll say dojo right here. And they usually have a 7 on the pocket. Those you can still get like 64 on eBay. And like 75 for on Poshmark. So keep your eyes out for those. But I still sell the um, 7 for All Mankind for like 35 bucks, And that's 25 plus 10 shipping. Not your daughter's jeans. So these, unfortunately, don't sell for as much as they used to because people like to race to the bottom. But they still have a loyal fan base and they still sell steadily. On paper, their sell-through rate doesn't look that great. But I find when I list them, they still move pretty quickly. Um, most clothing takes six months to sell. I mean, it's just the way it is. Keith and I just recently redid all of our guides for 2024. We have a jeans guide, a clothing guide, and a plush guide. And we have spreadsheets, and we do the research, and we figure out the sell-through rates on everything. And the majority of clothing is going to take six months to sell. It's just the way it is. A lot of things are oversaturated now. The sell-through rates are what they are. You have a lot of sellers you're competing with. So when things sell quicker than that, I call it a win. 
And you want to keep that in mind, too. There's not very many things that sell very quickly anymore. Our guides are available. There's links in the description box if you want to purchase them. Um, this is a, set, a plus size, so that's, that's a plus. I believe I start Not Your Daughter's Jeans around 25. Plus size, I'd probably start around 30. So 20 plus 10 shipping, right? Because it's all the same. These, oh, I like these. The 721 high rise skinny. I'm going to check real quick if I can find my phone in this mess. I'm going to look at my price guide for my jeans guide and see. Um, yeah, these are $25. So I was thinking of the um, 321s, I think. But either way, 25 bucks. And they're a super small size, so they'll probably sell really quickly. And then last but not least, before we get into the comping, I have another pair of jean little booty shorts. Y'all want to put booty, B-O-O-T-Y, in your title as a keyword, booty shorts. And when they look like this, you can also use the term hot pants. And by this, I mean, do you see how, like, these kind of resemble underwear? How the jeans, the shorts are so short that the, the crotch kind of hangs down longer than even the leg holes. You see what I'm saying? You can use the term hot pants. These are Forever 21, but I'm probably going to put these up for, like, 20 bucks because they're super booty and they're hot pants. All right, so let me share my screen with you, and we will look up these three items here before I let you go. I'm going to have to put my eyes on because I can't see anything. There we go. And me tiny over here. And let's go to ebay.com and look up 1841 men's jeans. So I'm not seeing, like, these are all different brands. Um, let's try. I'm not even seeing it over here in the brand section. I'm pointing, like, you can see where I'm pointing. Over here. Um, let's try typing what's actually on the band. It says 1841, the original. Well, I don't know what to tell you. Um, we'll probably do a little bit more research when we go to list them. I'm not going to spend all day right now. Worst case scenario, 25 bucks. All right, these are, these are, this is, it's a skirt. So, Melville denim skirt. This is just Melville. Is that the same as Brandy Melville? Ooh, these look like poop. Hey, there's mine. This is my exact skirt. Exactly the same. Um, what are they doing on shipping? So 16 all in. Not two shabs. I'll take it. It's a bread and butter. It came out of a thread up. It's cool. And then I have these. Embellish. Embellish men's jeans. Um, oh, these are good. <laughs> Yay. I see a pair for 34, a pair for 25, 30. I mean, these aren't like going to send my kids to college or anything, but they're decent. So I'm happy with those. All right, guys. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, let me know in the comments. Don't forget to join our Facebook group, Flippin' Hippos Reseller Pod. Go be productive. Go make some money. And as always, thank you so, so much for watching. Y'all are the best. Bye.